All right, I hope y'all can hear me over my fans and my radio, but we're doing a catalytic converter on a 2016 Nissan Maxima. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this cowling off. All right, so to get the windshield wipers off, you're gonna pop this off. It'll be a 14 millimeter nut right here. You should do that. The easiest way to do is just grab right here, kind of push down and wiggle. Once you do that, push down, pull up, and it'll pop right off. Take both of those off. Once you get those off, you'll have some little clips all along here. To take all those out. You get those out. There's some that's kind of hidden here. Let me get all them out. What I'm going to use to pull them out are these fancy little pliers right here. If you don't have your set of these, you can do it with a flathead screwdriver, but these just pop right in. Well, that clip was already broke, so pull right out. But what they're supposed to do is pop in behind the clip on each side. I can get it. This car's seen a lot of heat. Pop that clip up like that and then pull it out. But like I said, if you don't have these, just use the flathead screwdriver. Stick it right up underneath there, pop that side up a little bit, come over here, pop that side up. That'll get them out. All right, once we get all these out, we got this little trim piece. Looks like we get a good view of it. Right here, it's gonna connect to it. What I like to do is just Come in here, pop it loose. Got it both sides. Come in here, pop that one loose. Now, once you have both of those loose, you can grab this, lift up, and you're gonna have to pull back both sides, and it comes right out. Now you got your. Well, you can't see it from here washer nozzle hose is going to be attached to the side of it and that just pulls right out of there little christmas tree clip put that out all right once you get that off next step we're going to pull this little bar right here off that's going to be these bolts it's a little 10 millimeters all the way across now on the other side you got the same setup get that off all right once you get all them bolts out you lift this up it may be a little stuck make sure you have your bolts out but you should be able to do it by hand you might have to give it a little jerk to get it to come up once you do that you got a your windshield wiper motor right here you can unhook that Let's see if i can do this on camera and i'm gonna rotate this over now be careful when you're doing this. This is tempered glass. If you hit the edge of this windshield with your ratchet, with this, you can easily shatter this whole windshield. Be very careful. And what I like to do, I might not better show you on camera, but you got these clips. What you can do is take a pair of pliers and you can squeeze the sides of these clips and they will just push right through like that. Now let me get this set to the side. All right, now next, I'm gonna take this metal piece off passenger side, same thing, 10 millimeter bolts. Let's get that off. All right, we get the bolts out of this. May have to do the same thing, give it a little, well, it actually come right up, but you see they got a little felt around the bottom of it. Sometimes it'll stick and you have to give it just a little jerk to get it loose. And we're gonna set that to the side. Did all that. I don't know if you can see down there. Get access to that heat shield right there. And if you look right down where that O2 sensor is, you'll see there's a nut. And I've got to get to that to get my catalytic converter off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the O2 sensor out, or it's actually an air fuel ratio sensor. I'm going to pull that out so I can take that heat shield off 
and get to there. There's actually two nuts back there. So let me get that done. And it is a very, let me add it, it's a very tight fit, but it can be done with a quarter inch ratchet. Now, air fuel sensor is gonna be 22 or seven eighths. Either one of those will work. And you're gonna want you one of these air fuel ratio sensor sockets. It's slotted. So let me see if I can get this on camera. Oh, that's blurry. Hang on, focus. It's slotted so that it can slide over that wire and down onto our sensor. That's what we want. So, I can't film in that tight hole. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. All right, there she is. Got her out. So now we'll move on. I've got a quarter inch ratchet with a flex head. We're gonna need 10 millimeter. Let's see if I got that right just by grabbing it. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to get in there. I'm not good at aiming this camera. You can see the 10 millimeter bolts on the heat shield. Some on the top and then there's some on the sides. Okay, let me get in there with this and get those out. All right, we got it. Did have to bring out my favorite set of wrenches there. Was able to get two of the bolts with my ratchet, but one came from the side and I had to use that. So it is now loose now i don't have to actually take it all the way out i just have to get it loose and now i can get to those two nuts right there and i am going to use an extension swivel and impact to get those off and then we'll go to the bottom all right behind the scenes shit. Unless you got a longer extension. I got longer extension. So, Brad thinks his impact's better. We're gonna see. As soon as he gets back and gets something else put on it. Which is cheating, because now he's using something that may not absorb the torque as much. Okay, new update. Brad's impact couldn't do it either. Now he's gone for the breaker bar. Oh, here's a little bit bigger mine. What's this head? <laughs> Please don't round it off because I'll never get that thing out of there. There we go. Nobody's gonna break. It don't it don't matter, I got all new ones. Touch me with that thing. All right, I'll go beat it out. Alright, got the other one out. It just snapped. Didn't stretch, nothing. No warning, just bam. So we're done up top. Move on to the bottom. Alright, next step. Get this exhaust off. So we got uh, two nicely rusted nuts right there. Got these three on the back, these three on the front. And then you're gonna have one right here in the center. And I, I forgot to mention two over here on the side. We can drop that section of the exhaust and start trying to see if I can even get it a shot get that converter that's right there out of there hopefully without dropping the subframe because I'm pretty sure it calls for dropping the subframe in the manual we're gonna try to wiggle it out right through there let's we'll see how that goes 
All right, got that section of exhaust off. Uh, unfortunately, the rusted bolts did not cooperate. This was actually rusted together. I had to uh, pry it apart. That's a gasket that's rusted on there. Now, this is our converter. And the plan is, this is our converter. The plan is get those two bolts right there out. And then we're gonna take this bolt out of our bracket and hopefully snake this thing right on down through here. Hopefully. We're gonna see how that goes. You ever heard the saying, five minute job is one broken bolt away from being a three week job? Well, there's that broken bolt. I don't know if I can get in there to drill that. I'm probably gonna have to pull the whole manifold off. And if I pull the whole manifold off, since this is warranty, I'm gonna see if I can get that manifold covered under warranty so I don't have to drill that manifold and just replace it. So we'll see where this goes from here. All right, so we got the manifold on order. Should be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna conclude this as how to install catalytic converter. So, cause basically everything's gonna be in the reverse order of this to put it back together. So if you followed along with taking it apart, reverse procedure for putting it back together, cause this is gonna go on for a little bit longer cause I'm still gonna have to drill those out of the exhaust, clean all that up, get a new gasket put on there. Um, if you like, I'll show you how to get that manifold off. So if you wanna see that, drop a comment and uh, I'll video that tomorrow if I can. It's just been kind of slow today is the only reason I was able to make this video. Plus, I've been doing a lot of repetitive stuff and I don't wanna post the same stuff. I did a transmission yesterday in another Versa, which y'all have already seen. So I didn't wanna do that again. So I will keep trying to post new content, not the same content over and over again. So thanks for watching. Um, if y'all want to see me put it back together, drop a comment for that. All right? Thanks.